Hello, welcome to Homeopathic Services. My name is Pierre Fontaine. I've been a professional homeopath for about 25 years. Um, I am the author of two books, Homeopathy Sweet Homeopathy, as well as One Heart, One Mind. The first one is uh, a bunch of cases and the expl an explanation of, of, uh, of homeopathy through 36 different conditions. And the second one is all about autism. Uh, and reversing autism with homeopathy. So from time to time I present other cases in, uh, outside of autism as reflecting my practice. I've presented cases of uh, urinary tract infection, cases of dementia, cases of uh, painful uh, uh, periods, various different things. Today I'm presenting the case of an eight-year-old diagnosed with type 1 diabetes uh, she was diagnosed last year, okay? The mom says she has had eczema since birth, all right? She's eight years old. She has had eczema since birth. She was diagnosed with uh, diabetes last year. Uh, she always has a nasal drip. She does not complain about it. Uh, they, they they went to the doctor. They had it uh, checked. Doctor does not know what there's nothing. There's no infection or anything like that. Don't know what to do. Uh, it's not allergies either. Uh, she's had strep throat a few times. One the week before I saw her, was treated with antibiotics. She never had any fever. She was complaining of headaches one day, and she was crying that her head was hurting. Um, and she had never complained that much about it, really, uh, about headaches or anything like that before. Uh, last year, last summer, uh, she was diagnosed with, uh, with with diabetes at the end of the summer. Uh, she had gone on a trip and she lost weight. Now, they thought that she, she, she looked like she had lost weight because she grew uh, taller. But uh, by the end of the summer, she had lost 14 pounds, and they, be, they, they became quite alarmed. And she was always thirsty, always tired, and still is to, uh, to, to the date when I saw her. Uh, she's had earaches. Uh, she's had uh, several ear infections as well, uh, also treated with antibiotics. Uh, she has dreams. I ask her about the dreams, and the dreams have to do with witches and uh, and monsters, and they want to eat me, and something. And sometimes I get stuck in the dream, and then I have to open my eyes to get out of it. That um, that that seemingly benign type of information is actually very very important. Uh, uh, for in the analysis in the final analysis when the case is, is 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 when the consultation is done in the final analysis that became a very big piece of uh, 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 for it uh, today she says I had a dream last night and a lady was uh, it knocks me down and my stomach burns it makes my stomach burns and I wake up from the dream uh, the actual the stomach was actually hurting she also has uh, quite a few dreams with eagles, and they scratch her arm, and she gets very dizzy uh, from the uh, for, from this, and she cannot get up. Okay, uh, so she gets stuck in the dream, and she cannot get up, um, uh, and the eagles just stare at her. Uh, it is talking for some reason, and I want to get out. Um, uh, but it is going to scratch me, and it's very, very scary. Uh, her eyes gets blur get, get blurry, and um, uh, uh, she feels that people hurt her. So you see, you have the witch, the eagle, and people. Um, uh, in terms of food, so there's a theme, in other words, and th the th themes are very important in the analysis. Um... She doesn't like spinach, she doesn't like jelly, and she doesn't like apple pies. Okay. Um, she gets hot very she gets hot very easily. That's a keynote. Um, it has to be really, really, really cold. In other words, in the middle of the winter, she can still go out with a t-shirt, and she's very thin. So that's quite unusual. Uh, she, she, mom says she requires a lot of attention, but I'm glad that uh, kids require a lot of attention. That's not uh, not to be surprised. She's quite clingy. That doesn't 
um, I don't find that very particular. I would want to know in a case how clingy the, the child is, you see. Uh, the, the, the depth, the, the, the intensity, because clinging, okay, great. She's eight years old. She should be clinging to a, to, to a large extent. She, uh, or, or there's nothing wrong, let's put it this way. There's nothing, un no, never mind wrong. There's nothing unusual about an eight-year-old being, uh, being a, a, a mother saying my eight-year-old is clingy. There's nothing quite unusual. The child can be independent too. It doesn't matter. But it, it, is, not, it is not out of the ordinary. It is not what we call strange or peculiar. Now she has stomach pain, especially when she has to go to, uh, to the bathroom. Uh, the nightmare started last year. So last year, there's something about last year. She loses weight. The nightmares start. You see, uh, she's scared. She does not want to be hurt. Um, she has fear. She's feared of the dark. She has fear of sleeping by herself. Um, she wants to eat before she'll have something to drink. She does not like clowns. Now, I know it, it sounds unrelated, but she doesn't like clowns, she doesn't like apple pie, she doesn't like jelly, you see. There's like, there's an issue here with sweet stuff, with fun. Uh, when someone is ill, she is concerned, very worried. She's very sensitive, very nurturing, very, very nurturing. Emotionally, it bothers her. She's, she very often, she's quite sympathetic towards her grandmother, uh, the grandmother says she is nurturing. Now, for an eight-year-old, that's peculiar. You see, that becomes important. Uh, in school, she does okay in school, but she gets very distracted, and she forgets the homework folder a whole lot. I mean, several times a week. Uh, so she clearly doesn't want to do that. Huh? I mean, she clearly doesn't want to do the homework. Uh, the eczema, dry patches, very severe at times. She complains of being itchy. It's mostly on the legs. Okay. So all this um, mundane information seems almost, there's nothing there, right? Well, yeah, there is something there. Uh, because it, all of this lead to a remedy. Now it's two hours. I concentrate this. It's over the seven minute uh, uh, video here. Um, she does not stand up for herself. Okay. Uh, she fears she will be in trouble. She's quite sassy. She's very creative. She likes having projects. Uh, and, and, um, uh, and she likes to go places. Now, all this quote, mundane information, uh, which is, like I said, it's eight minutes uh, video into two hours concentrated, eight minutes, um, uh, lead to a remedy because they, this information reflects a state. You see, the, the state is what is important. The understanding of the child as a whole. Okay. And give a remedy accordingly. Now, I don't give the name of the remedy. The reason why I don't give the name of the remedy is that there are a lot of amateurs out there who will say, or, or people who check these videos and say, oh, this remedy is good for diabetes. No, this remedy is good for this child, this eight-year-old child who was diagnosed with diabetes one year ago. That's it. That's what the remedy is good for, for this child with diabetes diagnosed a year ago. And this, re this remedy is according to her characteristics, okay? That is extremely important. That's why I don't give the name of the remedies in any of my uh, video clips. One month later, now this is a child who had, whose sugar, even on insulin, twice a day, possibly three times. Uh, I don't know, it's in there. Um, the sugar was still going up to 400. Okay, she had spikes to 400, very commonly way above 200, 250, 300, and spiking to 400, even on insulin. Well, one month later, her numbers have been 
in the low 100. I can't believe it. Okay, so her um, her numbers now are stable in the low 100 throughout the day. That is unbelievable. That's amazing. Before we started homeopathy, her numbers were 200, 300, and even 400s. Sugar was not controlled up until two weeks ago. So for over, for about a year, her sugar was not controlled, even on insulin. And now she is consistently in the low 100. She's gone to 80s and 90s as uh, uh, 90s and 80s as well. Uh, she no longer has stomach pain. She no longer has dry skin. The eczema is completely gone. The thirst is is not so much there. The nasal drip not there, and she has gained some weight. I mean, just incredible. I will give uh, an update on this case in September, okay? Uh, but this is so fantastic. They're gonna have they they monitoring now the insulin. They monitoring. They they checking. She checks her she checks her sugar all the time. Uh, uh, several t- several times a day, uh, two or three times a day. She's very diligent about that. She's a great little old kid, and um, um, and I think it, it could very well be that she's going to lose this uh, type one diabetes diagnosis. I mean, that's just great. Let's see. Okay, I don't want to burn bridges here, but let's see. It's it's looking great. It's looking great. She didn't have, she wasn't born with it. This happened at seven. Something around there, okay? It happens. The dream starts. The eczema gets worse. She had the, the ear infection, the strap, something. So she's moving out of great health into illness, type 1 diabetes. Now let's track back, track back, track back, track back. Let's get back on the right track or just move that way back straight. Let's see in September where we at. I will give an update. This is very, very exciting. I've had, I haven't had very many cases of diabetes, only four altogether. Um, uh, and each one of them over 25 years. Each one of them has done fabulously well. Very rapid uh, uh, improvement like this. That is quite, uh, that, that is great, you see. That is really great. It's it's uh, it's it's not easy, but you know, compared to autism that I see every day, just about all day, uh, this this is this is very satisfying. It's it it uh, 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 organic disease like this is so much easier than uh, than autism or pandas. It's really really terrific. So, uh, homeopathicservices.com is the website. Um, uh, homeopathy, sweet homeopathy is the title of the first book. The second book is uh, One Heart, One Mind. It's all about autism. Uh, you can find those on, the, um, on, on, on Amazon. I hope you enjoyed this clip. See you next week. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.